This guide will show you how to get the unique iconic pistol weapon called Kongao in Cyberpunk 2077 because you guys can actually miss this very early on in the story and you can't go back and get it. Now the pistol starts off at rare quality but like all weapons in Cyberpunk it can be upgraded to legendary quality. So I'm going to be showing you what its stats are before and after and if it's worth your time bothering to upgrade it or not. Timestamps are linked below but before I show you how to find this iconic pistol let's look at it upgraded. Now as you guys can see once fully upgraded to legendary quality Kong Gao will have 228.7 damage per second, deliver between 54 and 67 damage per shot and have an attack speed of 3.75. It is of course a power weapon which basically means bullets can ricochet off surfaces. Now the unique iconic effect of this weapon says thanks to the highest grade mods the user can take advantage of ricochet technology even if they do not possess the required cyberware, reduces recoil and an increased rate of fire make up for the smaller magazine size. It's as deadly as it is elegant. Now you might be wondering why this effect is useful, well for example you actually need to equip cyberware in order for your character to use ricochet abilities. Currently I have a hand technology that allows me to use smart targeting modules in smart weapons which is a different weapon class to power weapons. But Kongao's unique effect still allows me to use the ricochet effect even though I don't have the cyberware to use it. You can also add a scope and a muzzle to the weapon. And just so you guys know, if you really like this weapon, you can actually upgrade the damage even further. And just so you guys know, link below is a whole list of every iconic weapon in the game and all their stats and all the best armor and weapons and everything. So you can go there and compare them yourself. Now you're going to be able to acquire this weapon during the main storyline in the quest The Heist which is an unmissable quest like it's pretty much in the prologue of the game before the game really opens up and begins. Now if you do miss the weapon there may be an option to get it later so don't tune out yet. But without spoiling anything the heist mission will direct you to the Arasaka building located just over here on the map. Now even if you come back here later the building is pretty much in complete lockdown. You can't get in. There's no way of coming back and getting the weapon till later on in the game. So you eventually find yourself here in the penthouse suite and you'll be able to grab actually a few unique items not just the pistol. So firstly a little easter egg, this is the Iguana that you and Jackie stole at the start of the Nomad storyline. Huh. Hey look V, another fucking Iguana! Shit you're right, I think it's the same one? Nah, no way, our guy had a second. <laughs> okay, he really does know his iguanas. Anyway, at the top here you'll find a suitcase that leads to the helipad. In the suitcase you'll actually find Yorinobu's slacks and formal shirt, which actually is a very nice looking outfit, so definitely pick that up. Hurry up. The could be back any second. And then we're going to go ahead and run back downstairs, and this time we're going to go into the bathroom. In the bathroom, you're going to find another suitcase, and this has a Kontensu no Rai coat. I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm dyslexic, and I've probably butchered it, so I'm very sorry for that. Also, some hair wax, which you clearly need. Now, if you go into the bedroom, no you will find, just scan around, a unique weapon. Called Kongu. Looks like Yorinobu left us a parting gift. Hey, much, but it'll have to do. So obviously when you pick Kong Gao up for the first time it's going to be a rare quality weapon. You can of course upgrade it to epic and then legendary which I'll talk about in a moment but starting out it has a 132.3 DPS and it does a damage between 32 and 39. It also attacks 3.66 times per second and obviously it's a power pistol and we've already spoken about its unique iconic effect. But the gameplay you guys saw me make at the start of the video, I was on hard mode and I've actually only got four reflexes and even then this pistol is still very usable. 
Now, Kongal starts off as a rare weapon. So first we can upgrade it to epic quality and then we can upgrade it to legendary quality. So these are the components you need to upgrade it. I'm going to make a full video on crafting weapons so you guys can follow along with that if you don't understand how this works. And then after that, you'll be able to upgrade it to legendary. Let's go ahead and craft it and check out its stats. So as we talked about earlier, those are the legendary stats for Kongao. If you guys want a list of all the other legendary weapons in the game, we are adding weapons to our website constantly. I'll link that down below. And if you want a guide on where to find every single weapon, just check out the playlist for all the iconic weapons and armor in the game so you can choose which one is best for you. Many of them are missable, so I actually recommend maybe looking ahead. Now, if you guys do miss this weapon because it is very easy to miss or forget about when you're actually in that room, don't worry, it is possible to meet the character that owns this weapon again in the storyline. I might add a segment in the description about that. I try to minimize any story spoilers in this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like it if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Goodbye.